Revolution Proof of Stake on the DSO blockchain has been years in the making and now it is finally here. When the Revolution upgrade is live, it will be the first proof of stake protocol that is truly decentralized, censorship resistant, permissionless, and easy to understand. DSO blockchain will feature one second confirmation times, support 500 posts per second, and stakers will enjoy 20% APY on their DSO plus a ton of additional benefits. In this video, we're going to go over the full tutorial on how to create a new DSO wallet as well as stake and unstake your DSO. You'll see just how easy Revolution makes this process and now let's jump into the tutorial. So when you're ready to start out on the DSO testnet, first we'll head to test.dso.org and we'll click on sign up in order to create an account. Now you have a couple different options here. For this example, I'm going to sign up with DSO Seed, which is gonna give me a private seed phrase that I wanna write down somewhere secure and not give away to anybody because if they have access to the seed phrase, they'll have access to your DSO account. So I'll copy the seed phrase here and hit continue and it'll ask you to verify the seed phrase. So I'll paste it in there and be sure to write it down somewhere secure. Once I have the seed phrase written down, I'll hit next and we now have an account. And now that we have an account created, we need some DSO in order to interact on the testnet. So what we'll do here is hit verify and all you have to do is insert a phone number and you'll get some free DSO in return. Once you have your phone number entered, you can hit next here and it'll ask for a six digit code sent to that phone number. Once you've entered that six digit code, you can hit confirm. And once you have your testnet DSO, you'll get asked to create a default messaging key which is super simple and you can just follow the prompts on the screen. And we can see here in the top right that I now have one testnet DSO to work with and keep in mind that testnet DSO has no value outside of the testnet environment. And now that we have our DSO, we're gonna head to the block explorer in order to stake it. So now we're here on the DSO block explorer on the testnet, which is explore-testnet.dso.com and we'll log in to the account that we just created by hitting login in the top right. And the account we just created popped up here so we'll go ahead and hit yes I approve to log in. So now in order to stake this testnet DSO, we'll head to the validators tab and click on validator stats. We can see some of the staking overview here. There's almost 30,000 DSO staked, 33 unique wallets, and it's currently earning 20% APY. So when we navigate down here, we can see the list of validators and there's some key information to take a look at. First, we can see what the name of the validator is. We can see the total amount of DSO staked with them. The top validator currently has 32% of all the DSO that staked on the testnet. We can see how many total stakers there are and how much commission that the validator is taking. And the last active epoch is a really important data point to look at. We can see here in the top right that 164 is the current epoch and all these validators are up to date with the exception of this last one here. So you'd probably want to avoid that. And now we can go ahead and pick which validator we're going to stake with. And for the sake of decentralization, I'll go with one that isn't 32%. And we'll take a look at number two here who has almost 17% staked and we'll hit the stake button. So we can see here that I have one available DSO in order to stake and we can type in how much we want to stake. And there's also a tab here for auto restake which automatically restakes and compounds rewards with this validator. We'll leave that on and we'll go ahead and hit the max amount that we can stake. So once you have the amount you want to stake, you can just hit update stake here. You'll click yes, I approve. And just like that, the stake was updated successfully and I have 0.99 DSO currently staked with this validator. And we can see our dashboard here. We can see which validator we're staking with, how much we have staked, the overall percentage of DSO that we have staked. Restaking is currently enabled and we haven't earned any rewards quite yet. So I'm currently earning 20% APY on my staked DSO. So we'll give it a little bit of time and come back to show you what the unstaking process looks like. All right, so it's been a couple hours. We're back here on the Block Explorer, and as we can see, the current epoch is number 167, and we have started to earn some staking rewards, which is really exciting to see. And when we're ready to unstake our staked DSO, the process is super simple. We'll just head here and click the unstake button. So here we can see how much available DSO we have, how much we're currently staking, and we can choose how much we wanna remove. We can either type it in or hit the max button, and we'll go ahead and just remove one DSO. And when we're ready to unstake, we'll just hit update stake. And next we'll hit the yes I approve button. And just like that, as we can see, the unstake was successful. And what's really exciting about Revolution Proof of Stake is that unlike other blockchains, it only takes about three hours to unlock your staked DSO. And you can compare that to some of the other popular proof of stake blockchains that can take days, weeks, or even months 
to unlock your unstaked assets. So after we unstake, we can see here that one DSO is currently locked and it'll only take about three hours. So we'll just wait and we'll come back to this video when it's ready to unlock. And now we're back a couple of hours later and we can see that we now have one DSO that is available to unlock. And real quick, if we navigate to the view details button, we can see that if we have some DSO that's still locked, it'll show which epoch that the DSO will unlock and there will also be a countdown timer on how long until you can access that locked DSO. So we'll exit out of here and when we're ready to unlock our unstaked DSO, we'll hit this unlock button. And next we'll hit yes, I approve. And now just like that, our DSO was unlocked and it is back in our available balance. And keep in mind when Revolution Proof of Stake is live that this process will be the exact same except it'll be on mainnet as opposed to testnet. But we walked through just how easy it is to stake, unstake, lock, and unlock your DSO tokens on Revolution Proof of Stake. Make sure you follow at DSO Protocol on Twitter to stay up to date for the Revolution Proof of Stake mainnet. And in the meantime, you can head to test.deso.org to get started on the Revolution testnet today.